Righto, so, fuel tank's removed. That's still got stuff in it, so I'm not sure if it's water or fuel. Uh, we'll find out in due course when I take it out. It, I sh it should be fuel. It just depends how much water actually got into the intake. And because we weren't intending on using this anymore, because we went and got the brand new yard force, eh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. So, I've got the fuel tank off. Now I can get better access to get this shroud off. I'm going to keep taking the shroud off, and we'll go from there. Right, with the shroud removed, I'm going to take the plug out. So then the plug's out the way. That should give us a better indication as if, to the, if there's water in it. Yeah, the plug's soaked, so there's definitely water in it. Crap. Right, off with the rocker covers is. They were going to come off regardless. Um, it's just four 10mm bolts, so I had to take the top two ones out to get the shroud off, because they were also holding the shroud down. Another reason that I wasn't getting the spark was the uh, condition of that flywheel, if I can get it to focus. The flash is supposed to be on. Uh, that help. Yeah, you can see all the rust on the flywheel as well, so I'll have to clean that up a little bit um, before I try and use it. I'm just going to focus on getting the rocker covers off, or the rocker cover off. There's only one. Whoop! Dropped one. And then oh, I can't be bothered. I'm just going to use a socket to do it. It's easier. Like that. Right with the carburetor off. I've now disconnected the carb, so that's completely off. Now I'm going to take this coil off and then I can undo the three or four bolts holding on the head. I can take the top end of this head off and hopefully recover the engine. Okay, with all bolts removed from the top end of the head. Give it a wiggle. Boom. Came out. Okay, we've got a dowel pin in the bottom there. And there's still one on the head. And there's a head gasket in there. Nice. Right, so I'm going to place the valve down. And, well, look at all that crap. Look at all that crap build up. It's definitely going to need a clean before I put it all back together. See the piston and the bore in there. The piston doesn't look the greatest either, but the bore, from what I can see, looks all right. There might be a few scratches here and there. Oh, hello. Uh, nah, that just looks to be just a reflection. It looks pretty good. Head gasket also looks pretty good. I'm not going to tamper with that. I'm going to leave that there. I'm just going to focus on giving it a good clean up. Clean the rockers and the top of the head up, put it back together, wire it all up, do an oil change, see if I can get it to run. Right, now the oil is draining. Now I have to have it draining out onto the mower body, as there's no other way to stop that from happening without taking the motor off. So that's going to drain out the old oil. It's I touched it and it's it's watery. It doesn't feel good, so I'm definitely... 100% doing an oil change, of course. Um, so now I'm just going to tidy the head up and try and tidy the piston up a little bit. Let's see if I can spin the motor over. There we go. I'm going to tidy the piston up because that's almost feels like chunks, but it's actually just bits of like stone and stuff. I'm surprised the bore's not stuffed. So I'm going to clean that up, clean the head up, put it back together. Put some oil in it, wire it all back up, sort the carb out. That's going to need a rebuild. And then just see if we can get it to start and run so I can actually do some mowing. Righto, so here we are on my workbench. Now if I can get this camera to focus like that, you can see all the crud that we've got there. Now I've got my wire brush behind me. I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do that, give it a clean, try and get all that off. I'm going to have to try and get off as best as I can which may end up needing to pop the valves out. We'll see what happens. So 
So I just spent five minutes cleaning this up. Come on, focus. I'm filming this with my phone, so if it goes crappy, I'm sorry. You can see these little chunks here. Now, I may end up having to get the screwdriver to get them off, because I cannot get them with the wire brush. I'm not sure if they're like... I'd say they're carbon deposits by the looks of that, but it's hard to tell, so... Right, so... Hang on. Right, that's about as best as I can get it. It's clean nonetheless. Now I'm going to work on the piston, hopefully get that cleaned up a little bit. Then I can look at reinstalling everything. Now we move on to the tricky part, which is trying to sort this carb out. I'm going to drain it, make sure everything's smooth and working, blow it out, with, spray it out with some WD-40, stick it back on and see if we can get it to run. Well, I'm just going to say carb's good. Opened it up, cleaned it out, didn't even really need to spray it with WD-40, it was still full of petrol. Um, so I just drained what was in there, tidied it up as best as I can, and I'm going to throw it back on and see if I can get it to start at least. Won't hook the throttle up or anything yet, I'm just going to see if I can get it to start. Right, so apologies in advance, I've got most of it all back together, I've got the coil put back on, the rockers and that are all back in, carbs on, all hooked up. Plugs in, there's no exhaust, I'm not going to worry about that. I might, I've got a muffler sitting up on the bench there, I might see if that fits it. I just got to find a couple of bolts or something for it to hold it on. Then I'm going to put the, I've got the shroud being put back on now. And then I'm going to put some oil in it, put some fresh fuel in it, drain it straight out of the tank, um, and then put some fresh fuel in it. Then see if I can get it to go. Fingers crossed. Righto, so the whole engine's put back together. All that's left to do now is get the full start back on, which won't be too hard. It's just a few bolts. And then that's on. I may replace that handle at some stage. It just all depends on whether or not I can get it now on. And, uh, I mean, it's not like I particularly need this mower. I'm just getting it going because it's got just the tiniest bit more power than the new one we got. This one's a 170cc motor. That one's only 130 so we're getting a little bit more power out of this out of this old girl. Um, but it's noisy as shit. So I'm going to finish getting this back together. And then, yeah, we'll see if we can get it to start. Right. I'm just going to wheel it out. I'm going to fill it with oil. It's got fuel. Pop that there. Come in here. Grab my SAE 30, which is what they recommend for this engine. And we're just going to dump the last of it in here, because I know that it takes 500 mils, and there's 500 mils left in this little can canister. So I'm just going to pour all of this in. Whee! Overflowed, overflowed a little bit, just because I was pouring too quickly. In it goes, whoa. I'll just stop there. It's seeping down. Just gonna let that sit for a second. That's gonna read high, of course. Oh no. I'll leave it at where it is, it's about three quarters full. It will need, <coughs> pardon me. It will need a top up shortly uh, once it's flung oil around the place so I am gonna find a way to set the camera up and I'm just gonna give it a few pulls just to pull some oil through and to also pull a little bit of fuel into the carb as well and then hopefully we can see if we can get it to start right that should stay there everything's off I'm just gonna Because there's no oil in it, it's got no compression. I can feel it starting to build up better. Alright, that's pulled some oil through. It should have pulled some oil through. I'm just going to double check our meter. 
Let me just grab my rag. Right. What do we got? Yeah, that'll do. She's good. Right. This is going to get pretty loud. Help us turn the fuel on. Fuel's on. Carb should be filling. Give it a couple of pumps. And let's see what happens. Let's that. Let's cross. Let's cross. No spark and getting bugger all fuel. I'm not sure what it was that stopped it from running last time. It goes. I mean, I spent four hours trying to get this started a couple of months ago, and in the end, we gave up. I and mean, that's why we went and got that one. And now it's going. And you can see what I mean by it's loud. Um, it's only got full throttle, and otherwise, it dies. But, you know, I'm not worried. As long as it's going, now I can go out and do some mowing. So, that has been the Exceed XL X3750 series push mower revival. Leave a comment down below what other revivals you want to see me attempt. And I'll be sure to uh, attempt to locate and do them for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Drop a like, comment, and feel free to subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Thank you.